So um, t today and yesterday, I felt a lot of encouragement. I felt a little bit of disappointment because, you know, of the way some people were reacting to um, just the world in general, you know, not seeing the bigger plan or um, way that things are actually moving. Uh, there's a brother in Christ I posted in one of my videos down below about, uh, he's a, a Christian, a brother in Christ who uh, is doing a spiritual warfare prayer and um, he, he talks about asking the Holy Spirit to pull you out of this, you know, this kind of realm letting you back up and see the whole picture, uh, bringing you, elevating your spirit and letting you see this from the godly perspective, from God's perspective, instead of kind of feeling like you're in the mud of it. Um, so this is the thing. Uh, I was going to make this video yesterday, but today I, I felt more, I got really busy yesterday, but um, I felt more in the spirit to do it. Uh, basically, I testified in my last video that I have seen God, how the blessed is he who has never seen but still believes but I have seen so this is what happened um, my my little girl and my daughter my daughter and my sister were on the way to uh, a different city together uh, to go meet friends and celebrate and stuff like this and um, I was on the phone like my my sister called me and was chit chatting with me she had her little Bluetooth speaker on and uh, she she had my daughter in the back sleeping and I was talking to her and I, f I heard this really big you know kind of crash you know there's like this this crash you know this like sound of metal scraping and like I could hear my sister kind of wigging out you know like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh no and then you know this horrible sound you know because I could hear maybe her and now that I know what happened I think she was running her, her car was going up against the um the rails of on the sides of the street it looks like this the metal rails on the side of the street on the side of the highway and um you know I heard a big bang and I you know I could hear her kind of hyperventilating and hear my daughter crying and and I, I have testimony to my sister she, she as a matter of fact I'm the first person who talk she spoke to I I was on the phone with her at that time listening to all this trying to process what I was hearing and it's finally when I heard my daughter you know scream and I heard you know my sister uh, going through this my my heart sunk into my stomach and I just kept saying the name of Jesus into that car I just kept saying you know Yeshua's name into that car Yeshua's name Yeshua's name into that car you know and um, it, it went really quiet and you know there's that moment where you just think to yourself the last thing they heard was the name of Jesus like for real that was my concern was the last thing they heard was the name of Jesus that's what I was thinking about and you know it felt like forever I don't know if you've ever had like something like this happen uh, I think this is kind of unique to our our generation because of Bluetooth and stuff I think this is a very unique thing to be on the phone with somebody when in the middle of a serious car accident with a semi and um, of course it's a my uh, company took fault and all this stuff because they were in the wrong my sister wasn't in the wrong so uh, being on the phone and thinking you know especially with that Holy Spirit rising up and being like the last thing that the, the word that needs to be in that space is his name that's what needs to be in that space because all I needed was his name to be in that space and, and that's the the Holy Spirit interceded on my behalf and said everything that needed to be said because I literally went dumb all I could say was just his name but I could feel in the spirit so much more was being done and there was this quiet in this moment where it was like <laughs> I could I don't know if you've ever had this experience where you spiritually fall to the ground but you're still standing that's what I felt I felt like this like my soul had become a weight like a balloon you know like this balloon with metal in it and it just fell to the ground and I stood there going I guess I should keep talking maybe maybe this is the last time they'll, maybe they're listening to me and they maybe they're subconsciously listening to me maybe one of them is still alive, maybe. So I just had this moment where there was a silence, and I remember thinking, I'll just say, hey, I'm with you. I love you. Do you hear me? You know, Yeshua's with you. Yeshua, Yeshua loves you. And 
all of a sudden my sister came on the line and I remember just being so relieved and then my I could hear my daughter in the background and um, it's moments like that that you meet God it's moments like that you meet God um, so I, I want to share that I want you to know that if you ask people don't walk away I didn't realize you know this until they started talking about the legal stuff but attorneys were like we don't get these cases because people don't walk away from semi truck accidents they just don't this is this is one of those rare things they just we, people just don't you know so when we finally were getting that other side of the story where it's like you walk away from stuff and you go Woo, wow that was that was crazy and then finally people are going that that doesn't you don't just walk away from that you, you, you walk away with serious injuries brain damage missing limbs or dead you you don't walk away from that and you know that it took months later because I think it's kind of one of those things that's why I pray in the spirit all the time yes for all the miracles that you've ever done for us that we've walked away not even realizing it's like walking on water and not even noticing we, we honor you we praise you we worship you and it's at these moments where I realized I can ask and it can be given all I have to do is ask you know um reflecting upon I think I think the intercession was repentance uh, I think the intercession was whatever the spirit just kind of rose up and did whatever it is that needed to happen because I'm pretty sure in the playground back all I said was Yeshua's name and when the, finally there was silence and I came to Linda this is this might be their last moments maybe you should say you know how much you love them how much you care about them until I heard my sister's voice I, I had serious doubts that they were still alive they could have died but God put me in a place where I was allowed to say goodbye where the last thing my daughter would have heard would have been my voice God is good you know I have my daughter walking around my house <laughs> I have a daughter because God is good so if you ask you wouldn't believe it but I, I it's like the matrix like for real it's like the matrix I've had experiences where something will happen and it's sort of like like stepping out of the way of something and time slowing down and that's what happened when I was on the phone with my sister when she was in her accident time just slowed down and the intercession was incredible and it was it was God it was the Holy Spirit and God having a, a moment and being where God <sighs> there was God's will of course because I think about this I think about what would have happened if my daughter had passed away I don't really know if I I don't think I could have I don't think I could bear it I don't think I could have mm -mm. nope and you know I and I don't think I was strong enough spiritually in Christ it's something that, that God goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with me now with. I know it's a, it's a real thing then, but God goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with me now all the time with it. Like, like, you, you have a few idols. You know, there are a few things that you love more than me. And um, I think it would have broke me beyond repair if my daughter had left. But it's one of those situations where it's like, <sighs> if God took everything away, including your family, are you strong enough in the Holy Spirit to walk that walk? You know? And, man, I wanted this to be encouraging, but of course it... But what I'm saying is, there's some serious Matrix type stuff that occurs. Like, glitches in the Matrix occurs if you just ask in Yeshua's name, like, for real. Like, I don't doubt those things anymore. I mean, I, I just send out prayers all the time, like you do, you know, a walk around the neighborhood, or you do... Anytime I'm out of the house, I'll pray over neighborhoods that I'm I'm walking by or in the car going by, and and it's like dropping a truth, dropping power, protection, uh, rebuke, and knowing that it's over there spinning and doing what it needs to do in Yeshua's name. It's the angels being sent in that direction. In this uh, America, with what's happening in this in our reality, I know we're we're focused on our country um, there are a lot of things happening around the world that are not America centric so we got, still got to keep our prayers out there for the martyrs around the world that are suffering right now especially in places like Asia and um, 
for the places, you know, secret places where the, the, the saints are held in America and other countries, um, sex slavery, these places. While you're praying for this political decision to go your way, don't forget the people that um, are usually forgotten, you know. Um, and, and, and this is really the spirit of not only having faith that when you ask to be in the lot of your community, having dominion over where you are, wherever you are, um, if you say, shut down the second heaven in Yeshua's precious name and we're in agreement, it's going to go down. And you're going to see things change. And do you see how this, this, this uh, map is changing over? God is, God is amazing. It's because people are sending up prayers, because people are starting to learn. And this is what it's doing, is teaching us that we can ask and receive. Repent, ask, and receive. This is Linda of Christ is King Forever. May God be with you.